This video is part of a collaboration with Life's Biggest Questions. Make sure to check out their video after this. We humans have always been captivated by the idea of immortality for obvious reasons. Most of us would rather be alive than dead. Throughout history, immortality has been relegated to the realm of mythology or science fiction, but as our technology has advanced, some scientists have begun to consider the possibility of actually extending a human's life beyond the death of one's physical body. In this video by Life's Biggest Questions, we see that while it is dangerous, humans can live without a heart for an extended period of time. The same goes for many other organs. In a worst case scenario sort of speculation, it's thought that the absolute minimum organ content a human body could endure would be the brain, part of the lungs with airways and blood vessels, the heart, the liver, a meter or so of the small intestine called the jejunum, part of a kidney, bone marrow, and at least part of the chest skeleton and the diaphragm. However, that's without non-biological implants. Theoretically, everything in that worst case scenario could be replaced with some kind of implant or machine, except for the brain. Of course, with our current stage of technology, a normal life with all those modifications would be impossible, but that hasn't stopped people from pursuing the idea, and even more radical hypotheses. For example, one Italian surgeon named Sergio Canavero has planned to perform a human head transplant for several years, and has recently announced that he successfully performed the operation on two deceased participants. He says that over the course of an 18-hour surgery, he was able to connect the spine, nerves, and blood vessels of a head to those of a separate body. Canavero's next goal is to perform the surgery on two brain-dead but living donors, followed by a conscious head donor paralyzed from the neck down. This has drawn a lot of criticism from skeptics who have nicknamed the surgeon Dr. Frankenstein, but if he does manage to perform a successful head transplant on a living patient, it would be groundbreaking. So far, we've only looked at extending human life through biological means in the original body, but what if we went even further? Even more extreme than a full head transplant is the idea that one might transfer just his or her brain into an artificial body. That's something that sounds like it's straight out of science fiction, so the obvious question is, is it even possible? The hesitant general consensus is, probably yes, eventually. Right now, there are a few main challenges facing would-be brain swappers. First, the actual removal of the brain from a living patient. The brain can survive without oxygen for about four minutes, but any longer than that and the patient will likely suffer irreversible damage. The surgery would have to be relatively quick, even though the brain could be chilled and perfused to extend its viability outside the host body. Once the brain is safely out of the patient's body, the next challenge is reconnecting its inputs and outputs with the new artificial body. These include the cranial nerves and the entire spinal cord, which would need to somehow interface with the artificial body to establish sensory inputs and motor outputs. Even if everything goes perfectly and the brain can function inside its new shell, since the artificial body is not the brain's natural habitat, the connections will probably not be precise enough to maintain abilities like speech and other motor functions. Even if an adult swapped their brain into one of these artificial bodies, the brain would have to relearn all your basic motor functions as if you were an infant. In theory, you'd still be you, you'd just be trapped inside your brain with little to no means of expressing yourself while your brain adapts to its new habitat. Some speculate that even if the procedure is possible, patients could very likely go insane before they could adapt. Another problem is maintenance. The human brain doesn't exist all by itself. It works by communicating with other parts of the body. Information from organs and chemical exchanges with spinal fluid and the bloodstream allow for healthy operation. Scientists would have to find a way to mimic these processes artificially, which could prove to be incredibly challenging, if not impossible. If it is possible, the brain would likely age as normal, defeating hopes of immortality, unless some new breakthrough in anti-aging technology is also implemented. Of course, if we do achieve drastically increased lifespan through brain swapping, we'll have a huge number of legal and societal changes to deal with. Finally, the last challenge would likely be an ethical one. When we hear about a surgeon planning to perform a total head transplant on two brain-dead patients, our gut reaction is probably one of aversion. It just doesn't sound natural. Judging by the fact that doctor-assisted suicide is still illegal in many places, it's hard to believe that allowing someone to remove your brain from your living body in an attempt to stick it in a functioning robotic replacement would be okay. But who knows, the medical advancements needed to perform such a radical operation are likely still several decades off. Who knows where society will be at that point? What do you think? Are we headed towards a future full of robotic superhumans? Or will brain swapping remain in the realm of science fiction? Let us know what you think in the comments below. If you'd like to know more about the current state of living without a heart, go visit our friends over at Life's Biggest Questions. If you haven't already, click the subscribe button to join the Second Thought family. 
YouTube doesn't like recommending videos with touchy topics, which are some of our favorites here on Second Thought. So if you want to be sure to get notified every time I release a new video, make sure you click the little bell next to my channel name. Finally, if you'd like to watch the rest of my videos, you can binge watch them all by clicking here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.